Hello, my loves. Welcome to your uh, singles reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for February 20th to the 23rd. Okay, so let's do a quick shuffle here, guys. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do we have for my single Leos, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do my single Leos need to hear today, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my single Leos, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance can we bring to my single Leos, please? All right, my loves. So if you're currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner underneath this video. I do choose multiple subscribers every month for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards. Um, I give away jewelry, Palo Santo, sage, you name it, it's happening, baby. Okay, um, so be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell um, to enter a chance to win. Okay, so in the description box below, you will find the link um, to book a personal reading with me. If you're interested, I am taking personal readings now. Um, I had shut them off for a little bit, but they're back on. Okay. Um, you will find the link on how to recognize and attract your soulmate. Um, I made a video about that. It also gives you a lot of information on um, what a soulmate really is, okay? Um, you will find the link for my new YouTube channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111. Um, it is brand new, the first uh, video coming out this weekend, so be sure to subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when that first video posts. Um, we're doing a shout out today for Bruja Taro. Uh, if you go to look her up on YouTube, she is a very, she's very new to YouTube, so you may not find her. So I put her link to her YouTube channel below if you want to check her out. Um, special shout out to uh, Sherry Kaplan. She is an energy healer. She is amazing. She's located in South Florida. Um, definitely, if you find yourself in Florida or if you live in Florida, definitely worth the trip. She is an amazing energy healer, okay? Um, in the description box below, you will also find my playlist for timeless collective readings and um, the link to view my tarot collection. Uh, I do have over 100 tarot decks and oracle decks, um, and there's links to purchase on there, okay? All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what we have going on. Under the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles, a beautiful, new, prosperous beginning. So let's see what we have here. Turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace. Okay, so the ace of coins is also, um, you know, it could be monetary. So maybe you find that you're going to be um, donating a lot this month or giving this month or maybe working on charity. Okay, because, you know, they do say that, you know, if you want love to tithe love or I feel that you guys are, are in a very giving mood right now. Maybe you're spending a lot of money uh, going out on dates or taking care of the people around you. So let's see what we have here. We have honeymoon, enjoy the, the bliss of holiday time together. And then we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay, so let's see what we have going on. We have the chariot, Cancerian energy. We have the eight of swords. We have temperance here, Sagittarian energy. And we have the three of cups. So what I'm feeling here is... Um, you're moving towards some level of healing here, Leo, okay? You're definitely moving toward trying to heal your life and someone is coming in wanting reconciliation and I feel that you feel that this is a trap, okay? You feel that this is a trap um, or that somebody maybe is partying too much and something is going on behind your back. With this honeymoon card here, this is kind of like a six of swords for me right now where like you're moving on from this toxicity and... Um, uh, and, and and moving on with a, an attitude of grace and gratitude, though. Like, I feel like you're going to tell this person, listen, I, I, I gave what I gave to you. I'm thankful for the experience, the lessons that you've taught me, and I'm moving on. But here we have reconciliation, so let's see what's going on here. We've got Tower. We've got the Empress. Uh, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Energy. We have the Two of Cups and we have the Star, Aquarian Energy. 
So I'm getting that the person that's coming in for reconciliation, Leo, now don't get me wrong, this could be you leaving um, a certain situation that you were feeling trapped in, and this could be you offering an apology, okay? This could be you coming in, look at what we have here, with judgment under, under the Ace of Pentacles. This could be you going in wanting a second chance with somebody, or it could be somebody coming in wanting a second chance with you. But one way or another, this, this message, this new beginning is going to be a shock to this person or to you. Someone here is going to be completely shocked to hear from you, or you are going to be shocked to hear from this person. With the star card here and the two of cups, I'm feeling that one person here really, really, really wants reconciliation. Um, so let's see. Let's see what we have going on. Spirit, tell me about this chariot, please, Spirit. Tell me about this chariot. We have the Eight of Cups. Okay, yeah, so you're moving away from something here. You're disconnecting from something. Tell me about Temperance. We have the Emperor. So you're putting up healthy boundaries here. Okay, you're putting up healthy boundaries here. You're, you're starting your new beginning here because you don't want to be hurt anymore with this Nine of Wands. So you're putting your guard up. You're putting your boundaries up with temperance here. You're forgiving, but you're also not budging. Okay, you're forgiving, but you're also not budging. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Yeah, I feel here that this person um, is coming in and you're just not buying it. You're not believing what they have to say. They may be telling you that they've changed scorpionic energy, but you're just not buying it. Okay, tell me about this three of cups, please, spirit. Yeah, we've got justice in reverse and the seven of swords in the reverse. I feel that this person is going to come in telling you that they're not going to lie, steal, or hurt from you anymore or cheat on you anymore. But with the justice card in the reverse, I feel like um, you, you just don't believe this person. You know, you know this person isn't going to treat you right. This could be a karmic soulmate possibly. Tell me about this tower, please, spirit. Okay. Yeah, I feel like someone here, there's going to be a lot of communication and you weren't even thinking about reconciling with this person. Like you don't even think about this person anymore or this person doesn't even think about you. It's going to be like a like a like a huge shock to hear from this person. Um or, you know what I'm saying, like one of you, depending, I don't know if it's you, Leo, that's going in for reconciliation, or your person, or this person coming in, but it's going to be a huge shock. Tell me about the Empress here, please, Spirit. Oh, I feel that someone is coming in for reconciliation and someone is going to be very disappointed because they're going to be put on, on red. They're going to, I, I'm getting here, literally someone's going to leave the other person on red because someone here is learning that, um, Someone is currently committed, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy, and with the Wheel of Fortune that this person is um, in a very stable and happy connection. I'm getting here, Leo, that you may be speaking to someone's mother. OK, so someone's mother may reach out to you. You may reach out to this person's mother and, and this person's mother. Like if it's you wanting reconciliation, you may contact the person's mother because you can't reach them. And this person may tell you, no, they're in a committed and happy relationship right now. They've moved on. Um, you know what I'm saying? You, you're finding out a truth about this. That could be the tower moment, too, that you can't, you know, that, you know, reconciling with this person is no longer an option and you're feeling bad about that. Telling me, tell me about the star card here, please, spirit. Yeah, three of pentacles, uh, six of pentacles in the reverse. This person um, doesn't want a third party situation. They don't want to leave their current person to reconcile. So Leo, this could be you or your person. So if you're going in for reconciliation with somebody because you're leaving someone else behind, this person does not want to leave their current person to reconcile, okay? Um and that could be a tower moment for you because maybe this is someone who's always been available to you in the past or vice versa or vice versa. Okay. Tell me about the two of cups, please. Yeah. What I'm feeling here is, is with the two of cups, um, this person here is in a relationship that, you know, they've manifested. And with that world card here, 
Um, it's a it's a, shut, a cycle that has been shut out and they've moved forward. Yeah, this person is in a committed and stable relationship. Oh boy. Spirit, tell me more about this reconciliation, please. Tell me more about reconciliation, please, Spirit. Yeah, so what I'm seeing here, we have the sun, Leo energy. So you may have, uh, you know, thought that you were going to go back to this person. There was going to be healing, recovery, you know what I'm saying? Um, but with the uh, with the four of pentacles and the moon here, Pisces, Cancerian energy, um, there was information that was withheld from you or something that you didn't know about, something that you didn't know about the death card here transformation you didn't know that this person's you know you didn't know that this this person has changed they have new love here and with the four of cups there's there's uh, a sense of rejection here so leo it could be you you know what i'm saying yeah someone here yeah someone here with the nine of cups and the ten of cups they're putting the sword up because they're happy in their current relationship they found their ten of pentacles yeah so, so Leo, this could be you that's going in asking someone for reconciliation and you're just shocked to find out that they're in a relationship <coughs> um, because you're leaving someone behind. You're ending something. So I guess maybe you went in maybe for a rebound or something like that, but you're, you're going in saying, hey, listen, do you want to give this a second chance? And you're finding out that this person is with somebody um, or vice versa, Leo. You have someone from your past that is leaving a connection and coming back to you saying, hey, listen, what do you think? You want to give this a chance? I'm free now. You know, you know what I'm saying? But you're in a relationship, so you're going to say no. So you take that as it resonates. All right, guys, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell. I love you and I will see you guys soon. Bye.